In this video, we'll be talking about Mikey's workout plan and one of my pro players' workout plan and what yours should look like. I see you, Ravis. watched any of my previous videos you know I always talk about having two or three workouts per day and I had a chance to spend an entire summer with a Hornet in Charlotte and get to see his workouts and of course you know I've spent a lot of time with Mikey so I'm going to share you both of their workout plans and how you should work on yours and devise your workout plan to become a pro basketball player. So for Johnny who used to play with the Hornets we would wake up every single morning and get to the gym around 9 a.m. and stretch. Then we get our workout on and finish our workout around 11.30. But this is going to be our skills workout for the day. The three workouts we'll be talking about is a skills workout, lifting or body workout, and then our shooting workout. So for our skills workout, the most important thing is to be an all-around basketball player. And youth basketball is much different than professional basketball. Pro workouts can be a little bit more specialized depending on the player. A guy like JJ Redick would probably do most of his workout without the basketball catching and shooting, maybe taking a few dribbles, maybe getting into some floaters. But a guy like Steph Curry or Kyrie is going to play a majority of their workout with the basketball coming off a of screen or rolls and of course do some stuff off the ball. But each player is going to be working on different things. For youth basketball, it's completely different because you should not specialize young. So what you should be doing is work on your all-around game. Learn all the finishes at the rim, learn all the floaters that you can, get into all your mid-range, get into all your threes, work on every single crossover, every single bump, every single step back. You want to have every single move in your bag, and eventually you'll find the ones that work best for you. So when doing your skills workout, make sure that you master each skill. For instance, if you're terrible at left hand reverse layups, we'll do it until you can make 10 in a row. If you're not great at floaters, we'll do them until you can make 10 in a row and do them from various spots on the floor. And if you're smart enough knowing how to do it off of the right action, maybe it's coming off of a curl, maybe it's coming off of a rip through, maybe it's coming off of a screen. If you can add those game actions to your skills, that makes it a lot easier and a lot better for you to translate those skills into an actual game. Steal as many moves as you can from various NBA players, but you want to have every ball handling move in your bag, every finish in your bag, and every mid-range option, whether it's a floater or pull up or a step back, and then of course a majority of your threes will be catch and shoot, but you might get some off the bounce similar to how Damien does it coming off of a ball screen. So you master each and every single skill. You want to make 10 in a row for all those skills. I've spent days at the top of the key where I would rip through to the elbow and I would not leave until I could make 10 pull-ups in a row. And that was my workout. So your skills workout should last maybe an hour, hour and a half, depending on it. The next becomes your body workout where you focus on your strength, your flexibility, your core, your ability to be strong in the basketball court to be more explosive. So for that, I would suggest seeing your strength and conditioning trainer and find out what your body needs to become either stronger, leaner, or more powerful, be more explosive, or execute things on the floor at a higher level. So for Johnny and I, we'd get up around 9 a.m., get our skills workout in to about 11.30 or so, clean up, and go eat. Once we grab our bite, we'll watch some film, and we'll get back and start lifting. And then after our lift, we would get back on the court and get straight into our shooting. Or his other option would be instead of shooting, he'd go play pickup, right? So those are all versions of different types of workouts that you can do as long as you're getting a minimum of two and hopefully three per day, as long as you take care of your body. Now for Mikey, his would be a little bit different. I would see him around maybe 10 or 11 in the morning, depending on when he can get a ride, of course. So I'd see him in the morning, he'd work out, and then after his workout, he would talk to his teammates and say, hey, let's get on the hills, let's go run. Let's go get our conditioning in, or let's go lift. After that, they'd pro probably do some sort of recovery. I sent them to my cryotherapy person, so they'd get their cryo done, and then I'd see them again at night around 8 or 9 p.m. So they'd space their workouts a lot more. But your workout plan and your workout schedule can be very different depending on what priorities you have and what things you need to take care of. You might have to get your skills workout in at 6 a.m. You might have to get your lift in at 10 p.m., 
just depending as long as you take care of your body. But the most important thing is to prioritize what matters to you and get those things done. Now lifting or the body workout that we talk about does not have to be lifting weights. It could be push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, sprints, etc. Anything that makes your body stronger. But also learn how to take care of it and recover when necessary. Now lastly, anytime I make a video like this, I always get a lot of DMs and questions and people will ask, well, how do I improve my dribbling? The best way to do it is to do it every single day and just challenge yourself. How do I improve my finishing? Well, study some of the best finishers of the game, steal all their finishes, and then do it until you can master it. How do you improve your shooting? Do form shooting every single day and just shoot it every single day until you master it. But you have to feel that 10 in a row. Right? Just shooting around and shooting a couple shots and making a few shots is not mastery. That's not how you add a skill. You have to master the skill from close and then earn the right to step back. How do I improve my crossover? We'll do it every single day. It's as simple as that. If you want to improve on something, you have to do it every single day. If you don't know how to improve on it, just do that skill or watch somebody else do it and then try to mimic there. Last thing, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, do all those things to help me out because I wanna help you guys out as much as possible and keep giving you as much advice as I can and tips and ways to help you guys improve. If you wanna keep up with me on Instagram, you can at r2bball. And it would actually be really, really cool if you guys surprised my little brother for his birthday. He's also a skills trainer with me and works with a ton of youth players helping them improve. And he's also gonna be giving you guys a lot of advice too. So you can follow him at jrizuki. I'll catch you guys in the next video.